On this episode of South Hawk Computing, we're going to be updating something, but we don't even have the paperwork. Nice! On this episode of South Hawk Computing, we'll be updating the firmware on the GA2163. And that's coming up next. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? This is Dan from South Hawk Computing here and today we are going to update the firmware on this GA2163. Now let's find out what exactly we have to do to get this done. One of the very first things obviously you have to contact Ian on with your serial number to get the updated firmware file. So what do we have? So let's go to here, system settings, and about this device, hopefully you read that better. And it's version 8.2.1. And it's got a date after it from 2017, June 8th. Another code at the end of there for 184226. Now, the one that we're going to be replacing it with is version 8.2.3, which is from November. So hopefully there's a bunch of little fixes in there that we might actually a, take advantage of, and actually B, C. Once you get your email from Enon, they're going to tell you to format your USB stick. The funny part about the formatting of the USB stick with FAT32, they also include a video with it, and unfortunately the video shows them formatting a SD card. So, we formatted this SD card and put the firmware on this guy here, so we're going to put it into the machine now. Now again, we have to turn the display unit sideways because the SD card is hiding right behind the screen. So I'm gonna remove that SD card that I had, or micro SD card that I had my music on. Gotcha. Okay, so we installed the FAT32 partitioned micro SD card with the latest firmware. Next, we have to go to settings here, system settings, car settings. And we're going to go to system update. Now, it's very important. Once you start the process, leave everything alone. Do not shut the car off. Let this thing completely finish before you attempt to remove the SD card. So here we go. System update. Well, that took a while to reboot. I had to stop the recording because it was actually taking quite a bit of time. So now that the quote unquote firmware is updated, let's verify it. Let's go to the settings here, system settings, scroll to the bottom about this device and we can see, or you can't see, and voila, version 8.2.3 from October 1st of last year. So we successfully updated the firmware. So now it's time for some post configuration here. So first thing Enon recommends is going back into the system settings here. Go to the bottom, go to car settings, and we're gonna say reset factory. And I think it's 7890. Okay, so we successfully reverted back to factory defaults. So next up, we got to remove that firmware SD card. So let's do that real quick. So time for some post config here. So we're going to go back to settings, system settings, back to car settings. I like turning this setting on here, shutdown delay when the power is cut. I put it on a 10 minute delay. Next up, you need to go to extra settings and the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. You want to select your radio region. US has already been selected, so that's good. Now you want to find configure info. I want to say no DVD, no iPod, and that's pretty much it. So actually it does remember what settings it needs to be, which is actually pretty cool. 
And here you go. This is how you would update the firmware on your GA2163 if you receive a new firmware from Eonon. That pretty much wraps it up here. As always, if you like what you see, give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, su subscribe to the channel. Join our forums. It would be greatly appreciated. We're actually doing it an Eonon radio unit giveaway. If you subscribe to the channel, you're automatically entered. It's when we get our 1,000th subscriber is when we'll do the drawing. As always, folks, this is Dan from Southpaw Computing. And until the next time.